What's up and good morning, everyone. Hope your day is starting off great so far. Markets, not starting off so great. Okay, we are actually going through a little bit of a pullback right now. And that's to be expected, right? We went on a nice screaming run and now there's some consolidation, some pullback. And really this is all in preparation for this CPI report coming in just about uh, an hour. So right now, she being you down about 2.69% on the day, the broader crypto market is doing something similar. You can see BTC is down about half a percent. Really almost everything else is down in that two to 5% range. Okay, essentially the market seems to be bracing itself for impact, okay? Take that how you want. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Right now, the projections are not fantastic, okay? I definitely like to see them get closer to zero. I think I've seen projections as far as 0.3% inflation increase, 0.2% inflation increase. So it's it's kind of uh, varying based on where you look. Now, either way, what to expect from this is that if we do get something in line with these expectations, we're likely going to see another rate increase as we move into next month's FOMC meeting, okay? Now, I don't think that would mean a, a big, you know, big spike as far as rate increases. It'd probably be another 25 basis point hike, okay? It seems like the Fed is pretty content at doing that because we are showing signs of the economy cooling now. Obviously, the jobs report showed that. The CPI report along the lines of expectations would show that as well. And then don't forget, we still have stuff coming next month. We still have a PCE report at the end of this month. We have... Um, the GDP report coming at the end of this month too. So some pretty big stuff, some pretty big indicators as to what the economy is doing. And that's something that the Fed is going to pay attention to as well. Now, as you prepare for this, this CPI report this morning, this could be, as always, this is not financial advice. This could be kind of a tricky one if you are trying to trade it. I'm just kind of holding tight right now, just waiting to see what direction the market takes. I'm pretty comfortable with my bags right now. I'd obviously love to accumulate more. I wish prices were half what they were right now. I think everybody would agree with that, right? I think everybody would love to see the prices at half, get them, get them cheap. But I still think the broader crypto market is, is very discounted overall when we look at the broader picture, right? If BTC can hold 30K, we are going to be in very good shape, guys. If it dips back down below, I'd expect it to retrace somewhere to like that 28, 27K range. I mean, honestly, there may be no looking back at this point. We may run up all the way to about 50K. But I don't know, right? <laughs> these these are just guesses based on technical analysis as at this time. I've seen a lot of people chart in that 48 to 50K range. And that's a pretty pretty consistent thing, right? If, if we follow that was the biggest point of resistance and biggest point of support over this last bull market cycle. So we'll obviously see what happens here. But... Just be prepared, brace for impact, pay attention this morning, and uh, hopefully we get some good news to send us to the right side. You know, obviously, Xi Jinping, you did not pump as much as everything else. We're still just facing this this kind of sideways trading, this this you know negative sentiment. We're kind of under, like I said before, we're kind of under a bear attack. We're just kind of trading sideways right now, which is super boring. But the longer that you trade sideways like this, the more energy there is to, to pump you up. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but a lot of times if you get sideways for this long, you tend to explode one way or the other very quickly. And right now, Shibin Yu's got a lot of support on the downside. So if I was a betting man, I'd guess that it's probably going to spike up at some point here when, I, when some of us least expect it. So as always, this is not financial advice, but appreciate you guys as always. Definitely show your support. If you guys haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a great day, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.